Good afternoon, everyone. As I'm coming to you here live on February 10th, 2024, um, I, I'm going back thinking about 2010 with I think that there's a Super Bowl being played tomorrow, I believe. I don't care because I haven't, as you've heard before, I don't watch the Super Bowl unless the Packers are in it. But it brings me back to 2010 when the Green Bay Packers were going to be in it. A dear friend of mine, who has passed on, surprised me with two tickets to Lombardi, the play. And it was a fantastic, fantastic night. It was a great play. Um, I actually went into the city with a limo. I wish he could have come with me. Um, had dinner. Went to see Lombardi. Got so emotional. If you remember, it was late December. We had just beaten the Giants. So then we needed to, that going into that week. I believe it was... December 28th that we uh, went to the, that I went to the play and they had to beat Chicago to get in. And I just had a feeling it was the year. It was just a special year. My friend surprised me with those tickets to the play. I don't go to New York. Don't really love going to New York. So I got real emotional. I remember being real emotional throughout the whole night, the whole play. That one play was tremendous. The actors were tremendous. I had never really been to a play like that in New York anyway. And uh, just a memorable, memorable, awesome uh, event and night and gesture from my friend to giving me that. The Packers would also go on and win it all that year, which was the last time they won it all. And that was just an incredible, incredible season, incredible, incredible time. Packers would win it the 2010 season. It would be 2011. And my friend would pass away in 2012, the next year, which was, and he happened to be a Giant fan, and his Giants would win it the year after the Packers, after Green Bay going 15-1 and the following year. So I was disappointed. I remember really disappointed, really mad, actually, but happy for my friend. But anyway, that evening, I happened to meet Mike Francesa, legendary uh, talk show guy on 660. It was awesome. Um, Mike Francesa, yes. Hope you can see it. Pretty cool, cool time. He was coming up the steps. I asked him, um, yeah, I asked him how everything, what he thought about the play. He said, oh, it was great. He thought it was great. He's like, oh, fa fabulous, fabulous. He was a really nice guy. He actually put his arm around me, as you saw, and I was able to snap a picture. So that's all I kind of wanted to share with you. I'm not trying to but it, drop names or anything, but I actually met Mike Francesa back in 2010. But it was just a cool event, awesome night, just one of those nights, you know what I mean? Just one of those nights you're grateful for. I was blessed. Thank God for it. I thank God for my friend also because he was awesome. The best friend I ever had. I'll talk to you soon. Go Pack Go.